When you break an arm, neurons send a signal through the spinal cord to the brain. The body will release endorphins, natural painkillers, which act like a key in a lock to activate the brain's opioid receptors, slowing down the body's ability to send pain signals. For some, that's where the story ends. But if the pain continues, many will go back to their doctors to get a prescription for pain medication. And opioids share a chemical similarity to the body's natural endorphins, binding to our opioid pain receptors. The problem is the brain also releases dopamine, the pleasure chemical. When taking opioid painkillers, the receptors in the brain turn off the inhibitory neurons, releasing a euphoric rush of a dopamine. But the longer anyone takes the pills, the more the brain will try to regain its balance, forcing the inhibitory neurons to work extra hard and making it harder and harder to release dopamine. And that leads to tolerance where the patient feels the need to top up their dosage just to feel comfortable. And when the prescription runs out, the inhibitory neurons, which have been working overtime, are let loose, making it almost impossible to release dopamine, meaning more pain, depression, and anxiety. And for some, the only solution is to seek more opioids.